Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. As you can see, we're at the business end of the season here. 40 games in uh, for Wimbledon, uh, or 39 games in rather, and we're in second place. I believe in this league, the top three, the top two teams go up and then the next four teams go to the playoffs. Um, so we need to finish in second or better. We're five points clear of Oxford United, which is good. That's pretty good. Uh, as for what's going on, we've had a player return from injury. That's Darius Charles. You remember he had a broken butt for a long time. He's been out for, for mo much of the season, and uh, and he's, but he's back in. Uh, so that's exciting. And we're gonna. I'm just gonna give you a quick update on the squad overall before we get get into today's incredibly exciting match. Uh, we're gonna be starting John Green and John Green up front. I I, I was trying to give him a a little time on the bench because. You know, they get tired easily. They're older than they used to be, but uh, apparently they don't want to be on the bench anymore, so I'm all for that. I'm going to bring Darius Charles onto the bench. I don't think he's quite ready to start yet. Uh, as you can see, I've put Rafa on the bench. He was being a whining little child, and so I put him on the bench, and um, he's probably going to be there for the rest of the season. But he is going to be our starting and most important goalkeeper next season, so I can't have him too unhappy. I mean, having to manage these personalities in FIFA is easily my least favorite part of the game. So, uh, today I'm in the business of solving your problems. It's, ra it's raining in England, by the way. I'm going to solve a problem today from Rosie. This is a great problem. And her problem is I know I have feelings for my boyfriend of four months. Well, I would hope that you do. And I would hope that he knows that if you've been dating for four months. But I don't know how to tell him that I do. I think, I think this is not about having feelings. I think this is about the big, the L word, the four-letter the four letter word because I have anxiety and depression and I have that little voice in telling me that there's no way that he likes me even though the logical side says that he does. I don't think that you would have been dating for four months if he didn't like you a little bit. How do you tell someone you love them? There it is, Rosie. When you have an irrational voice in your head telling you not to. Please leave your problems in comments, by the way. I like solving your problems. It makes me happy. It brings me joy. Um, look at that. I mean, you know, when you get the real close-ups on the FIFA faces, mostly what you see is the cold, dead eyes. Very hard to bring eyes to life. No matter how good the graphics in these games get, the eyes still seem so dead to me. However, we're not going to let the fact that we're a bunch of zombies stop us from winning this game. Super bald John Green. I mean, he's just... I will say this, the quality of the baldness has improved a lot since FIFA 11. You, you, you can't say anything other than that. So, Rosie, I'm guessing that you're young. You might not be, um, but that's my guess. Partly from your name, which I feel like is making a justified comeback, and uh, partly from the, um, partly just from the way you phrased the question. If you're not young, don't don't take it personally. Oh, uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Oh my gosh, everything but the finish, like usual. I mean, so I I, I first said I love you to someone a long time before. I was what I would consider now to be in love, if that makes sense. Like, I think I said I love you to my girlfriend in ninth grade. Um, and I did feel that way. I did feel like I, I loved her. Um, when I look at it now, I think, oh, well, you know, that I, I, I didn't have the same feelings for her that I had for, like, my girlfriend in college who I dated for a lot longer. And, you know, we were extremely, we were extremely close and, um, and you know, had, 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 I guess, a longer time to get to know each other and, and you know, knew each other better and everything. Um, but I don't really, like, I don't regret saying I, uh, I love you. I mean, I, you know, obviously, the thing that you don't want, and I'm completely alive to this worry, is you don't want to say I love you and then have the other person say thank you. <laughs> Right. Like you're you just all you don't want is thank you. And I mean, I, I don't think that's just because you're anxious, Rosie. I think lots of people don't want to hear uh, thank you or that means a lot to me or um, I really care about you or I like you a lot or I'm glad you said that. Or any of the things <laughs> that people might say other than I love you too. Like, I remember when I first said I love you to Sarah. Oh, God, that was some terrible defense. When I first said I love you to Sarah, I was super freaking nervous. Um, we'd been dating for a while. Uh, like, usually, I actually waited longer to say it to Sarah than, I, than was my standard at the time. This is great. This is great. Past your husband. 
Oh, wow! Oh my god, it's a beautiful Wibbly Wombly goal. It's it's John Green to John Green. It's absolute magic. Find him! Find your husband! What? Why? Are you guys having a fight or something? Why wouldn't you just hug like two normal... Sorry, did I get too loud, Meredith? I get so excited. It feels so good to score goals. I don't score a ton of them, but that was beautiful. Oh, man, I just humiliated my opponents. Ball John Green, 16 goals this season in in, uh, in League One. He's overwhelmingly the best player in the third tier of English football. Um, and uh, I think he's worth like $80 million, so we appreciate him hanging around. Uh, that was great stuff, man. Really, really good stuff. And as you can see, Ball John Green proving his value right there with an interception. He's not bad on defense either. So... Um, Anyway, when I first said I love you to Sarah, I was really nervous because I didn't want her to say any of those things other than I love you too. But you also don't want to put, in, put someone in a situation where they feel like like obligated to say something. Um, we have placed a ton of, of uh, wow, thank, thank God for George Long. We placed a ton of emphasis on these three words in our culture. I, I think at times maybe too much emphasis, like uh, whether you love someone is probably true regardless of whether you say it or how often you say it. Um, but I also like would never, I mean, it's happened to me before where I've been like, I, I, when I when, like I've said, I love you. And the person was, I think they said, thank you. <laughs> it was brutal. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend it wasn't brutal or like, it was definitely like a, I've been, I've been pulled out from behind for what? <sighs> FIFA. Um, I'm not gonna pretend like it wasn't brutal. So I, you know, I don't think, I don't think, I don't, I don't like, oh God, Rosie, I've made a terrible error. Rosie, I'm so sorry. Oh, George Long. I mean, he's just massive. So I'm sorry. I was, I was in the middle of saying what, what my actual solution for your problem is, but, um, but I, I got too, I got too nervous. So I, you just, you never, you, yeah, I totally understand. You don't want to be in that situation. You don't want to, and then you don't want to, I, I don't know. And then sometimes you do say it and the person says it back, but it's just gets weird after that. Like I've had a, I, I've, you know, like, I don't know. I understand why you don't want to say it. And I also think it's okay if you don't say it. I think it's okay to like say other things, you know, like I really care about you or I care about you a lot or I really love hanging out with you or I really love being with you. So you, you're using the word love, but like you're also not kind of thing. Um, I obviously wanted you to pass to Trotter, who was in acres in space and wide open, and not to ball John, uh, the John Green, who wasn't open. But whatever. Meredith, isn't that how you do it? Like, like just like c kind of put a crack in the wall instead of trying to tear down the whole wall all at once. Well, Meredith thinks you should just say it. Which I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean if if you want to be, if you've got, yeah, I mean if you've got the guts to do that, I guess. All right, Rosie, you're just going to say it. <laughs> Meredith, Meredith is way better at this stuff than I am. It'll make him feel good. He'll be happy. He likes you. Yeah, no, it's good. It'll make him feel good. That's probably true. He'll, he will be happy. I mean, anyway, what I was saying about me and Sarah is that when I said I love you to Sarah, like I was super nervous and she was totally not nervous. I said I love you and she said I love you. <laughs> just like that. She didn't even say I love you too. She said I love you. And I was like... Oh, that feels really nice. Oh, that's like a, that's extremely, it's extremely happy making. Um, yeah. So yeah, you just say it. Don't, I, you know what I was going to do, Rosie? I was going to like offer to do it for you, you know, like in this video where you could be like, oh, hey, watch this video by John Green and, and then, oh God, why am I so bad at FIFA, Rosie? <sighs> it's just, we've got to win the league. We've got to win the league, Rosie. We've got to find a way. All right. So I was going to offer to do it for you, but no, that's not nearly as good because then it, you, it won't be coming from you, which is what makes it sweet and romantic and good and no noble. So you're just going to say it yourself. It's fine. Nothing bad's going to happen. And if anything does bad happen, like it's probably just the end of a relationship that needed to end anyway, but it's not going to. Why did I even mention that? Why did I say that? God. It's my own insecurity getting to me, Rosie. I apologize. No, yeah, you just say it. Just say, um, just go. So you would go full, I love you, Meredith. You wouldn't say, like, I really care about you, and then just, like, test the waters. She doesn't think you should test the waters. All right, okay, there you go. I mean, I, 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 by the way, like, that's good advice. It just takes guts. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. You got to get to that ball, buddy. Oh. 
Why did it have to fall to someone who's not a finisher? Got to make some substitutions. 64 minutes in. Nobody's really tired as such, but I just feel, you know what we need to do? We need to change formations. That always works. Now we're going to change formations. We're going to, that's all good. I think we're actually going to do this switcheroo, but then we're going to take Trotter off and we're going to bring on Lyle Taylor. And then we're going to take off uh, Dean Parrott and we're going to bring on Vinny Thrill. Is there a better football name in the entire world than Vinny Thrill? Actually, we're also, you know what we're going to do? We're going to make all three substitutions at once, just like the pros do. We're going to put, nope, 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 nope. None of that was right. There, that's right. But Vinny Thrill does not want to play that central defender role, so we're going to put him there. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to bring, who's playing? Oreo Baskets? Actually, you know what? We're just going to leave Frankenstein there. Frankenstein's plenty good at his central defensive midfield. All right, there we go. Three substitutions all at once, just like the pros do. That was like one of those like games of uh, cups where there's like a ball underneath the cup, but you don't know, and then it, there are so many changes that you can't follow where the cup is. Um, yeah, that was a really poor description of that game. <laughs> So yeah, you're just going to say I love you. You're just going to like barge in to the dorm room or his house or apartment or whatever. I don't know the exact living situation. The car. I don't know. And you're going to say I love you. And just whatever, man. The chips fall where they may. It's probably going to be fine, Rosie. Just do it. It's going to be all right. Barchi. 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 Why didn't you shoot? Barchi's like, because you didn't hit the button that would tell me to shoot, bud. Oh, Mr. Managerino is not having a good game. So I think I've solved the problem. You're just going to say I love you. and It's going to work out. Then eventually you'll break up probably or get divorced or else it'll end in death if you're lucky. Um, I don't know why I pretend to be so negative about romantic relationships when in fact, like, I find them to be tremendously fulfilling and fun. Um... I think maybe it's because, like, the I feel like the culture sometimes is so, like, pro-romance, which, admittedly, I've played my part in. Um, but, uh, no. I mean, being in a romantic relationship, not for everybody, but for a lot of people, it's super. So, I don't, I'm, I'm going to stop, I'm going to stop dissing on them. Come on. Come on, John Green. John, what are you doing? What was that? I was looking elsewhere on the screen, trying to figure out where to pass to. I'm like a chess player who only thinks half a move in advance. <laughs> that's that's the basic like summary of my, my FIFA uh, approach is, um, yeah, thinking less than one less than one move in advance. All right, to Barchi or to John Green. That works. John Green, John Green. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, why did you do that? Oh, that was a really good. I, I thought that was a pretty good piece of play there. I got to say. You get another bite at the apple. John Green. No, Lyle Taylor. Pass it. Oh, no, it's been intercepted. Oh, that was such a good bit of play. Oh, but it came to nothing like so much effort in this world. And now in the 87th minute, they're going to make another substitution. We probably only have one attack left, Rosie. Come on. Come on. Win this one. Win it for Rosie, guys. It's Barchi. It's Barchi. It's Barchi. It's Barchi. It's a really good cross. It's Lyle. It's in. It has to be in, right? Was he offside? What was the possible problem? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's in. It had. That was in. That had to be in. What? It was in the net. It was behind the. Can I see a goal line replay? It's in. Wait, they're celebrating. They're celebrating in the back as if it went in the net. Did we score? Did We did! All right, oh my gosh, a 95th minute winner. Oh my God, Lyle Taylor with a magnificent finish. They tried to clear it. It didn't work. Now all we have to do is defend, 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 defend. The one thing we can't do is give up and... Oh, we did it. We won the game, Rosie. He's definitely going to be cool with it. Just say I love you. Best wishes.